Hey everybody, it's Gregory. So today I've got a really exciting video for you. I'm gonna give away my cryptocurrency trading bot. I'll show you how to set it up and then customize it to do whatever you want. You know, algorithmic trading, flash loans, arbitrage, whatever. And you need to check this out because this can open up another source of income for you. And that's why being a blockchain developer is so crazy. I mean, other developers are basically limited to getting a job, becoming a freelancer, maybe building an app, but blockchain developers can do all this other stuff like build their own trading bots, take out flash loans, do cryptocurrency arbitrage. It's, it's crazy. So if you want to master these insanely valuable blockchain skills, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And speaking of arbitrage, don't forget the flash loan masterclass is today. So if you want to learn to borrow millions of dollars in cryptocurrency with zero money down, then you need to sign up with the link down below before it's too late. All right, enough of all that. Let's get started. So before we jump into the code, let me show you what this bot does. All right, so first and foremost, it checks cryptocurrency prices. And then secondly, it trades cryptocurrency. It either buys it or sells it. All right, so it trades crypto. And it does all this natively on the blockchain. Everything's powered by smart contracts. So I'll show you how that works here in a minute. And so how can you use it? Well, you can take the bot that I've given you today and change it to do really whatever you want to. I'll give you some ideas right now. One, you can do, you can accumulate cryptocurrencies. You can do algorithmic trading. You can do uh, arbitrage. And you can also do, you know, pretty much whatever you want to. I'll just put that in there. So now I'll show you how to set the bot up. Go ahead and uh, go to the GitHub page. There's a link down below. All right, copy this link and go to your terminal and type in git clone and then paste the link in there just like this. All right, so I've already done that, but I'm gonna skip that step. And once you've cloned the repo, then go ahead and uh, do CD, you know, trading bot, and that'll enter into that newly created directory. And then once you're inside of here, uh, do a couple things. First of all, install all your node packages, do npm install, all right? Wait for that to finish. And then go ahead and open up the project in your text editor to make sure everything is set up correctly. Once you open the project in your text editor, you should see all these files here, okay? So uh, the file that you want to look at first is this .env.example file. So this is where we're going to store three really important pieces of information that we need in order for the app to run, okay? So uh, the first is the URL to an Ethereum node. The second one is a private key for an account that's actually going to trade the cryptocurrency. And the second is the uh, account address, okay? So uh, go ahead and duplicate this file, duplicate it. And don't call it .env.example, just call it .env, okay? Um, so basically what it's going to do is going to copy the file with these settings here and create a .env file. So I already have my .env file created, so I'm not going to do this, but you need to do this and then fill out uh, these three fields right here, okay? So we're going to fill out in each of these individually. So first, you need a private key and an account. So if you have an Ethereum wallet like MetaMask installed, this is pretty easy to do. If you don't, just install MetaMask by going to the Google Chrome Web Store, look for MetaMask, install a Chrome extension and get that set up, okay? But uh, once you open MetaMask, basically you'll see your account here. I'm connected to the Robston Test Network. That's what we're going to do everything on in this tutorial, okay? Um, and basically just copy your account right here and then go to your uh, .env file. So I'm in the example, but you want to do this in the actual .env file. I'm just not going to show you mine because it's got my actual private key inside of it, all right? So... Uh, take your account, paste it in here, and then uh, go look for your private key. Details, there you go. And then do export private key. And then whatever it shows you, copy that and put it inside of here and make sure it's got a zero X in front of it, okay? So I'm not gonna do that, but, but you see how to fill each of these values out. So next you wanna fill out this uh, Infura URL. So this is basically uh, a URL to an Ethereum node. If you wanna run your own node, that's just fine. But if not, um, you can sign up for Infura. It's pretty easy. Just walk through those steps. Takes two seconds. Um, grab the URL for the Robston test network. That's important. Okay. And then put it inside of here. So basically robston.infura.io and it'll put your API key. You'll see your actual API key here. Okay. So that fills out your .env file that you need for your app to run. Finally, you need some test ether. Uh, for the Robson test network, because that's the ether that we're going to use to sell. If you want to code against the mainnet for this example, uh, by all means do it. But uh, for this purpose, we're going to just use a test network so that nobody watching this loses money. That's the last thing I want to do is somebody get wrecked because they found this tutorial and then lost a bunch of money. So copy your account, uh, go to this Robson faucet. Hopefully, if I remember, I'll put a link down below. Enter your account right here. 
and then click send me test ether and you should see some populate in your wallet. And you can just check right here once it's finished and you have a transaction hash that you actually have some ether, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and look at the app. Go back to your project and open the index.js file. This is pretty much where all the code is for the entire thing, uh, you know, the entire bot. So what is it? Well, it's a Node.js app, and it's just an Express app. So Express is basically a library for running web servers. So that's what this is. This is a web server. And essentially what the web server does is you just run it with, uh, you know, npm run start, okay? And that'll boot up the server, and it'll just do whatever you ask it to. So in this case, what we're doing is actually monitoring the price of Ethereum and uh, buying or selling based upon what the price is, okay? And what this app does is it checks the price of Ethereum every second. So it sits there and pulls it. It just checks it over and over again. And if the price changes, it actually executes a trade. And like I said, you can you can uh, extend this to do whatever you want it to do, but that's what this example does today. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. So let's just go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna do NPM run start and you'll see it uh, just checking the Ethereum price, all right? So 260 over and over and over again. So we're checking in DAI, which is a stable currency. I'll talk about that in a minute. But basically this is just saying that Ethereum is currently $260 and it's just logging that over and over and over again. And in my case, if the Ethereum price changes uh, relative to a limit, I tell it to sell my Ethereum. So we'll talk about that in a minute. So let's talk more about how the bot works. First, it checks the Ethereum price. So sorry, let's see here, Ethereum. And that's the first cryptocurrency that we're using. So, you know, this is Ethereum. It's the second largest market cap cryptocurrency. It's the native cryptocurrency of the Ethereum blockchain, okay? And then basically what we do is we sell the Ethereum if it drops below a certain price. So it's like a stop loss, all right? So basically it limits our liability. If the Ethereum price just starts tanking, then it sells the Ethereum and puts it into a different cryptocurrency. So which one? Well, we're gonna use DAI. So DAI is a stable coin, which basically means uh, its price doesn't change, uh, basically, you know, relative to the US dollar. So DAI is pegged to USD. So basically one DAI is one US dollar. And effectively, we are just selling uh, Ethereum for US dollars whenever the price changes. And this all happens natively on the blockchain. Sells for DAI, you know, AKA USD. And so, yeah, it's powered by smart contracts. So, um, you know, DAI is a smart contract. That's the ERC-20 token that governs the DAI stable currency. And then also the exchange is a smart contract. And we're going to use Uniswap. So this is Uniswap. Uh, basically, it's an instant cryptocurrency exchange. So if you just tell it, uh, you know, I have like one Ether and you select a token, uh, you can use DAI. Okay. And it'll tell you, let's just see here, one Ether. It'll show you how much DAI you're going to receive. So I'm on the drops and test networks. The price is a little bit different. But uh, yeah, that's how it works. And we have access to this exchange without the UI. You can just talk directly to the smart contracts themselves. And that's what I've done in this bot. Okay. So basically we talk to the dice, we talk to the Uniswap smart contract and say, Hey, how much does Ethereum sell for right now in terms of DAI? And you know, if that price looks good to us, then, uh, or looks bad to us in this case, then we'll sell our Ethereum for DAI. Okay, we use this DAI smart contract and we use the Uniswap smart contracts to do that. And you can use this however you want. You know, you can change the code basically to buy Ethereum with DAI if the Ethereum price dips below a certain point instead of selling it, okay? You know, you can uh, look for arbitrage and then actually do the trades whenever the arbitrage exists. You can build your own algorithms. All right, so if you want to plug into some machine learning models or something like that and then execute trades based on that, you can totally do that, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and look at the code, see all the stuff works, show you how to run the bot, and uh, yeah, you'll be good to go. So first of all, um, you know, here's just the regular configuration for the Express server. We import all the libraries, uh, do the Express configuration right here, okay? And uh, next we connect to the blockchain. That's what we use Web3 for. Right? This is Web3.js. And uh, we use the private key uh, that we saved in our .env file and also the RPC URL to connect to Infura like that with the Ethereum node. Okay, so next we configure the smart contracts. And again, this is all on the Ropsten test network, not the main net. So if you start using this on the main net, First and foremost, be careful, don't get wrecked. Second of all, uh, you know, you need to change these addresses to actually reflect the mainnet addresses, okay? So this is the DAI stable coin. Like I said, it's an ERC-20 token powered by a smart contract. It is a cryptocurrency, uh, but we're gonna use this to uh, buy DAI with Ether whenever we sell our Ethereum, okay? So next, uh, this is the exchange. So this is for Uniswap. So Uniswap uses 
one exchange per cryptocurrency pair. This is the exchange that we use to uh, buy DAI with Ether slash sell Ether for DAI. All right, next we have some basic configuration. Um, this is the Ethereum amount. So um, we're, we're going to say basically... If the price dips below a certain point, sell this amount, all right? In this case, we're just going to sell one Ether. I mean, I have more Ether in my wallet than one, but for this tutorial purpose, we'll just say one ETH, okay? You could say all my ETH in my wallet, you know, maybe you could say a little bit, you know, whatever you want to do. You could just change that here. So the next is the price. So we're going to say if ETH drops below 200, then sell, you know, this amount here. Okay, so you could do this price to whatever you want to. You could say if ETH drops below a dollar, whatever it is. But this represents the USD amount, basically. So it's 200 DAI or 200 US dollar. So next is the function to actually sell the ETH. All right, so this is the ETH amount. You'll pass this in, like how much do you actually want to sell? And here's the DAI amount that you will uh, receive. So uh, here's the line where it happens. Basically, we use this exchange contract here from Uniswap. And uh, we call this function right here, this is what actually sells the die for ETH, uh, or sorry, sells the ETH for die or buys the die with ETH, however you want to think about it. And it passes all this information. Here's the die amount that gets passed in here. Here's the deadline, which Uniswap requires. Basically, I'm adding 60 seconds to this. And then you also want to do the transaction settings. So I put a high gas limit in here. This is an override. Um, the gas price, doing 50 GUE, it's pretty fast, pretty overkill for the main net, but I just like keeping these tutorials quickly. So you might want to change this if you actually take this live. Uh, next, it reads your account from the uh, .env file. And next, it actually sends in the Ethereum amount uh, here, okay? And it performs a swap, gives you a transaction hash in the end, okay? So next is the function to actually check the prices. All right, or check the balances. So basically it's going to say how much Ethereum do you have in your wallet? How much DAI do you have in your wallet? And we'll log those out to the console. We'll check this out before and after the swap just to make sure the bot's running properly, okay? Okay, so lastly is the actual function to monitor the prices. And, um, you know, it's a single function here that we call over and over again. So I'll go over this function in a second, but basically what it does is we uh, start the server and uh, we set this polling interval, okay? Basically every second we use set interval to call this function, we monitor the price, okay? And we save that to a variable because, you know, whenever we uh, actually sell the Ethereum, we wanna stop doing it. <laughs> we don't wanna keep like selling all the ETH from our wallet. And if there's an error, we also wanna clear it as well, okay? Okay, so let's get into the meat of this. So monitor price, uh, basically it checks the price and we, we store this in a variable. So basically, if it's already doing this, like don't keep doing it. Like say you put this down to like, you know, every millisecond or something like that, like you know, something really small amount. If this function is still calling, we don't want to keep calling it. So that's what this is for. And we, we, we do it here. All right. So um, next, we have this sort of try catch block that does all this stuff. And, uh, you know, this is important because if you want to keep polling this, you might want to do some special logic in here. But here's the meat, basically. So it checks the price. It tell you, you tell it how much Ethereum amount you want to potentially sell, and it tells you how much die that would give you. So uh, basically, when you divide, when you, the die amount that comes back is basically the US dollar amount. So that effectively gives you the Ethereum price. You just have to convert it to the with appropriate decimal places right here, and then we'll log this to the console, okay? And then basically, if the Ethereum price is less than or equal to our limit, which is here, right, 200, all right, then we'll call this. Basically, we'll check the balances. This will just show you how much is in your wallet before and then how much is after. And in the middle, we'll actually do the sale, okay? We'll pass in the ETH amount we want to sell. This is just a setting and the DAI amount that comes back from this contract here, okay? And then finally, like I said, we'll stop doing this over and over again uh, once we've actually sold it. Basically, this is a stop loss that's going to sell everything from our wallet, theoretically. And uh, we want the bot to stop running uh, if it actually goes through. Okay, So like I said, you can change this behavior, do whatever you want to, but that's how this works. Okay, So let's just run it. And uh, yeah, we'll see it's logging at the price, 260, 260, 260, over and over and over again. It's not dropping below our threshold. So it doesn't actually do a sale. So 
let's change the setting to actually call this. I don't want to sit here and wait for the price to change. I mean, who knows when that's going to happen, but, um, let's see here. Let's go to our price. Yeah. Let's just change it to 300. All right. This will, this will call the function. Okay. So let's just change it. You know, it's below 300 here. So it's going to, it's going to actually do the, the sale. So let's just run it and watch it happen. All right. It worked. You can see it here. Successful swap. So I'll go ahead and copy this transaction hash here, put it in my web browser. And there we go. You can see that uh, I sold the Ether for 260 die right here. So effectively, this was the US dollar price of Ethereum at that point in time. And again, this is on the Robson test network. All right, that's all I've got. So that's how you build a cryptocurrency trading bot. And again, you can take this code to do whatever you want to do. You know, check prices, look for arbitrage, create your own algorithms. Like, this is yours. Do whatever you want. So yeah, this is what you can do as a blockchain developer. You know, most other developers are really limited to getting a job, become a freelancer, maybe building their own app. But like with blockchain, you can do so many things with currency, finance, trading, and you can build your own cryptocurrency. You can trade cryptocurrencies with bots just like this. And that's one of the reasons that blockchain is so amazing. So if you want to master blockchain skills, then you need to check out these tutorials that I put out on YouTube, okay? They're like Udemy courses, but free. This is a three-hour course along with a step-by-step -step written guide over on my website at dappyuniversity.com. And this takes you through everything, like what is a blockchain? How does this app work? How do you learn the programming languages, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, go through that for sure. And then if you want to take the next step or just jump past that entirely, jump straight to the deep end, then I can show you how to become a real world blockchain developer, land a high paying job, you know, build your own professional app inside the blockchain bootcamp. I've had so many people go through this program who had zero background and didn't even know anything about blockchain. And now they've come out and are absolutely crushing it. So if you want to do the same, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp right now to get started. All right. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching Dapp University.